Hi, Cancer. Okay, so these are just general messages that we're going to get from mid-March on, okay? Whatever comes out, let's get you an Oracle card first. Well, we'll get three. Overcome fear. I don't like that I always get like similar cards each time I pull. It's kind of annoying. Willpower. Could be dealing with a Taurus, guys. And karmic justice. All right, so for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising, mid-March on. The astrology for March looks really interesting for all the rising signs. If you know your rising sign, I suggest you look it up. It looks pretty intense. I like it. Okay. Okay. So you may be involved with somebody or, or be getting to know somebody around that time. And you're going to see that uh, I really just don't think it's going to, um, it's not going to be a match. Okay. I see some sort of controversy around your money could have to do with an investment. Cancer. You may be at odds with somebody. If you own your own business, you may be at odds with a client or a coworker or um, a business partner, something of that nature. If you work for somebody, there could something could come up where you know you're at odds with somebody. Just keep that in mind. This would have been something that started in the winter. Why is the sun in reverse for Cancer? Sun, moon, and rising. Yeah. Yeah, be careful about a, somebody in your energy when it comes to your finances. That they, I, I feel like they're going to have a ne negative impact on your finances. They're coming out as a fire sign, but take it as it resonates. Seeing something for how it really is. The full moon is going to bring some sort of change for you, Cancer, okay? I don't believe it's the one that just happened. It's going to be the next one. So there might be a creative project or some sort of business venture you don't want to walk away from. You only want to improve on or have new ideas about. That is going to be fantastic for you, especially if it's newer come March because we have the Ace of Pentacles and it's saying, you know, even if it looked like it was going to fail, even if it was like um, causing you some sort of drama, if you just stick with it, you're going to get further. I'm seeing the full moon everywhere here for you, Cancer, but the moon is also Cancer, right? For those of you that are looking to reconcile, I don't see that happening. I see you spending a bit more time alone. And it's ultimately going to lead to something new. And I feel like uh, this is my May card, guys. And you know I'm really horrible about timing. I have no sense of timing. But I'm really feeling like something new is going to happen for you in May. Let's take a look at that. Some sort of karmic justice for you. And it could lead to some serious success. Somebody may have been stalking you. This could be somebody that hurt you in the past. Just keep that in mind, okay? Cancer, sun, moon, and rising. I see somebody reaching out. I'm getting I'm getting more than one person reaching out to you, Cancer, okay? I'm seeing Pisces, I'm seeing air, and I'm seeing earth. Now, the air sign comes in peace. Like, I don't feel like, you know, they're going to have anything negative to say to you. The Pisces is coming out uh, upright as well. But this earth sign definitely has some sort of beef with you. Wish fulfillment for you. Something you're not going to have to really fight for. You may be meeting new people. Um, make sure you're taking care of yourself. It's saying here that you're like, you know, you're on, you're on, you're doing your thing, but it, it might, you might be sacrificing your health in the, in the process. Okay. Um, you are the king and the queen are here, cancer. I do feel like you have your match coming in. If you are single, I do see you having somebody coming in. If you are currently involved, 
be careful because there's a lot of people here, you know, um, I don't know. I don't know. You know, if, Hey, if you're into like multiple partners, good for you. But if you're not, you know, just be, just be mindful. Huh. Cancer, you have a lot of people coming your way. I don't feel like this is just love offerings. I feel like this could be anything from work to friendships to, um, you know, reuniting with a, 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 a family member, something of that nature. But it all is looking pretty good. I also see you being gifted something. It's going to be something old, antique, or very unique, okay? Cancer, sun, moon, and rising needing to make a decision that decision is going to ultimately lead to a financial success for you there's something you're not allowing to happen what is that cancer yeah there's there's uh, cancer you have a big possibility you're coming out as single so just keep that in mind whether you're ending a romance or you you've been single whatever it is but it's saying what you're not allowing to happen is um, when somebody comes in, you know, which it looks like it's going to happen, right? And they are coming out as an air sign, but take it as it resonates. I'm seeing air, air and water. Um, it's saying here you may pass like a judgment on this person too early on. Um, if it's not that, you might be just hesitating to just get into anything serious anyway. You know, take it as it resonates. For those of you that are involved, and this does not even sound anything like you, um, I, I'm sorry. I do think your relationship is probably going to come to an end. For those of you that are looking to go on some sort of trip or some sort of move, I don't see that happening. I think finances are going to put a halt to that. There is some sort of slow process here. Um where messages now this could be anywhere from work related to a romance where messages are not coming through or aren't happening fast enough and it's going to sort of make you hesitate maybe draw back a little bit um let's see how that looks i wouldn't I wouldn't completely dismiss it. Give it some time, okay? With the Hierophant here, again, I feel like you're going to be getting into something I don't know if you're ready for. I really don't. I think it's going to vary cancer to cancer, but, you know, it's it's definitely here. And if it's not you, maybe they're hesitant. I don't know. Again, I have water and I have air. I hope this helps.